Hello, dear friends. Some people think I take sides when I give news, but facts are neutral and opinions are free. In this case, we are talking about terrestrial quantum computing, not extraterrestrial, which would be way over the top. Opinion piece. China leads the quantum race. Its system is the fastest. It has the most powerful computer, 10 million times faster. The next, the next gold rush will be epic. Inflation shows no signs of slowing. The stock market is going crazy over the end of free money. Elon Musk says there will be no shortage of goods and services. Let's start. Chinese physicists announced that they have successfully built the world's fastest programmable superconducting quantum computing system. Their quantum computing system called Thu Chongzi 2.1 is capable of sampling random quantum circuits on a large scale, 10 million times faster than the fastest existing supercomputers. The study was conducted under the supervision of renowned Chinese quantum physicist Pan Jianwei of the Chinese University of Science and Technology. Su Chongzi was a Chinese mathematician and astronomer who lived and served the southern Liu Song and southern Qi dynasties. He was born in 429 in Yangkang, now Nanjing. His family was historically linked to astronomical research, and from his childhood he was in contact with mathematicians and astronomers. Already at a young age, he became very famous for his talent. The most powerful. China appears to be winning the quantum computing race with a record-breaking processor, according to Kasi B. China appears to be taking the lead in the quantum computing race with a recent announcement that researchers have broken a record for solving a complex problem with cutting-edge technology. Apparently, this quantum supercomputer would be the most powerful in the world, and according to its creators, it would be able to solve complex problems. This computer can solve in just over an hour a job that would take eight years with the most advanced non-quantum supercomputer. Chinese research teams have made outstanding progress in superconducting quantum computing and in photonic quantum computing technology, making China the only country to achieve quantum computational advantage in two main technical routes. On this path, analysts say that the US has only achieved a quantum advantage in superconducting quantum computing, but not photonic. Quantum advantage. Quantum advantage is a scientific concept that states that the quantum computer can do things in some fields beyond the capability of non-quantum or classical computers, but will never replace classical computers. When Google's 53 qubit Sycamore processor completed the task that would take a traditional supercomputer more than two and a half days in just 3.3 minutes, it showed just how much modern computers can do. Now, however, China's 60C qubit quantum processor, known as Thu Chongzi 2, has completed the same task a million times faster. The unprecedented processor was developed by researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Center of Excellence in Quantum Information and Quantum Physics, in partnership with the Shanghai Institute of Microsystems and Information Technology 
and the Shanghai Institute of Technical Physics. Quantum banking. While the normal banking model money is real and in the form of cash or assets, quantum finance takes slightly different approach. Quantum computing came into play when many financial players saw its potential to solve critical financial problems. Most banking activities, such as pricing securities, involve a great deal of evaluation of the potential outcome, and this happens with the help of algorithms and statistical probability models. However, such solutions are not without flaws in their predictions. As the financial crisis of a decade ago demonstrated, and the current crisis is demonstrating. Quantum grammar offers a mathematical way to write contracts in a proper and correct manner that cannot be misinterpreted, maintains integrity in contracting, and holds all, party, all parties properly accountable for what they promise to deliver. Many financial services activities, from pricing securities to optimizing portfolios, require the ability to evaluate a variety of potential outcomes. To do this, banks use algorithms and models that calculate statistical probabilities. These are quite effective, but not infallible. Gold fever. Gold announcement. Trump's gold is the standard tweet was interpreted as an announcement of the new gold standard via the financial restart. Second, the coming gold rush will be epic. Cycle expert and financial analyst Bo Polny predicts that what is coming is a great awakening. Polny explains, in quotes, between May 31st and September 18, it is expected to be a major global transition point where the hand of God is seen on earth. We might want to call that point in time the Great Awakening. Somewhere around this point in time, people will realize what has been happening and there will be a massive awakening. Close quotes. Third, it starts in South Africa. South Africa's Supreme Court prepares to liquidate its central bank. Where South Africa goes, so goes the whole continent. Reset news. First, Elon Musk says, in quotes, there will be no shortage of goods and services. Second, Elon Musk says in Twitter, will comply with European Union content rules after acquisition. Third, Musk promises to lift Trump's Twitter veto after closing buyout deal. Fourth, extremist groups are targeting Twitter advertisers to sabotage Elon Musk. Five, important code writer announcement from GFK Jr. In quotes, the hour is upon us, the storm is coming and they are not prepared. I'm back. These measures are ready for immediate implementation after EBS. When the lights go out, know that the white hats are in control. Close quotes. Election documentary 2000 Mules races over 1 million in its first. 12 hours of broadcast. Created by political commentator Dinesh de Souza, it began airing Saturday at noon on Rumble, on BitChute, and on the locals' platform. Crisis. First, inflation shows no signs of abating in the US, UK, Europe, and Canada. Second, Another Black May is coming. From May 4th to May 9th, the global cryptocurrency market capitalization fell by 24%. Third, 
the crypto tax regime in India is already shrinking the industry. Economy. First, Dow Jones post fourth consecutive day of losses. Second, the stock market is going crazy over the end of free money. Third, emerging stocks plunge 60% as earnings outlook declines. Fourth, Amazon shares fall as corporate performance takes a high takes a hit from big events. 5. Google raises salaries and revamps employees to ease stress. Markets. First, natural gas prices get caught in a perfect storm. They've gone from cheap and capped to the highest in more than a decade in a matter of weeks. Second, Oil falls as Saudi Arabia cut prices and China's blockades intensify. Third, oil ends below $100 per barrel. Fourth, Airbus surpasses Boeing in orders for 2022. Fifth, US considers banning exports to Chinese chip makers. Europe. First, Germany considers a contingency plan in case of a sudden cut in Russian gas supplies. Second, Germany's main gas buyer gives in to Russian payment plan. Third, inflation in Greece soars to 10.2% in April, its highest level in 27 years. Fourth, British man charged in New York with hacking into bank computers and stealing millions. Spain. First, Spain sells debt at negative rates but at the highest, highest rates in two years. Second, Balenciaga introduces new model of broken and dirty tennis shoes for $1,850. Nowadays, wealthy people want to look poor. Third, the National Police have arrested 21 people who were part of an organization that swindled through a financial racket 6 million euros to hundreds of citizens to whom these false brokers offered supposed investments. Americas First, the leaders of Mexico and Brazil reject the summit of the Americas. Second, Bolsonaro plans to, to skip summit of the Americas. Third, heartbroken relatives protest for missing in Mexico on Mother's Day. Fourth, El Salvador exceeds 26,200 detentions under the emergency regime. Five, massacre in an Ecuadorian prison leaves more than 40 dead are more than 100 in inmates on the run. 6. More than 400 dead in Ecuador's prisons since 2020. 7. Argentine President Fernandez says he will seek re-election in 2023. 8. Chile's Constitutional Convention approves the demilitarization of the Carabineros Corps. 9. Sao Paulo plans to create homeless camp after a 31% increase in homelessness. Opinions Puffness Opinion Banks are awash with challenges. Business deals are not performing well. Interest rates are rising and ways to make money are imploding throughout the business com community. Few solutions or opportunities are being offered that can make a dent in the wave of thorny problems facing businessmen and women. So, against that backdrop, how do you think the banks are going to play loose with your money? So, calm down and play it cool. Do what you can and keep doing what we've always talked about. Do your due diligence 
and know that you have the patience and fortitude to hang in there. Wait a little longer and recognize that you had no idea that this whole saga was going to take a full generation to mature. To mature. None of us could comprehend that. When it is all said and done, there will be better days for all. Equality and opportunity will flourish as never before. Susan says, I have been told that the bankers are going crazy because the quantum system is finally being activated. The bad guys are not happy campers either. They too will have to find a new way to operate. The ultimate goal of the restart is actually a no. The perceptions we have adapted are based solely solely in on the information gathered. Each individual makes their own decision about what and why they choose to believe a particular narrative. We cannot control the behavior of others, but we can always choose how we respond to it. If you have been at this for a period of time, you would think you would have become a little wiser. The only true wisdom is knowing that you know nothing. Excuse me, my cat has thrown my microphone. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers information faster than society gathers wisdom. Knowing something is not the same as us understanding it. Digesting all the information circulating in the world is one thing. What we choose to believe is another one. Only you can control that. You have to listen and pay attention to our own wisdom, to your own wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of our wisdom. Instead of worrying about things we cannot control, we must shift our energy to what we can create. Whatever the true motivation behind the architects of the financial studies, we will only know in time. I am always skeptical on these purveyors of intelligence who seem to know all the answers. If they know all the answers, it is only because they have not been asked all the questions. As of this writing, there is a plethora of narratives suggesting that the restart has begun or is in the process of beginning. I have been on this roller coaster too many times to get back on. When the roller coaster becomes a straight train, I will climb a boat. Until then, let your wisdom be your guide. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.